hi everyone welcome back so in this lab i just want to quickly give you an introduction into cidr or cited notation so when designing azure virtual networks and subnets so that could be requirements for you to create azure virtual machine and that virtual machine should be a part of one of the subnets in the azure virtual network right and uh, you could have multiple subnets in an Azure virtual network. So the resources between the subnets can talk to each other uh, through the private IP addresses. So it's critical for students to understand what the CIDR notation means. So whenever they create uh, Azure virtual network and subnets inside that virtual network. So what does this CIDR notation mean? So CADR or classless interdomain routing it's actually a method for allocating ip addresses so here you can see whenever you create an azure virtual network you will have uh, an address space something like 10.0.0.0 and slash 16 right so what does this slash 16 means and you could have multiple subnets inside this virtual network itself and for each subnet you could have different address spaces that's that's within this uh, root address space so something like 10.0.0.0 slash 24 for the subnet and for the second subnet i can have 10.0.1.0 slash 26 so how can we actually determine these address spaces so when we say slash 16 what does that mean so slash 16 is something like the network mask itself so if you take any ip address so it will be a four octets right so eight bits into four octets so for example so when my ip address is something like 255.255.255.255 it means like all the bits in those four octets are turned on so in in a single octet you will have eight bits okay so all the bits are turned on which gives me this ip address right so if you take any ip address you will have 32 bits it's like four octets eight in each right so that's how we need to interpret it and for example here you can see the face value of uh, one of the octet itself so it, it will be one two four eight sixteen 32, 64, and 120. This is the binary base two representation I'm showing you for one octet. So let's say the first two bits are turned on and the remaining bits are turned off. So that gives me 192. How, how we are getting this? So you can simply add the first two bits, 128 and 164, which gives me 192. So that's how we get the uh address space right address uh, space for the virtual network and subnets so to give you a better understanding here so let's take that uh let's look at this subnet second subnet what we have here so i have address space something like 10.0.1.0 slash 26 so what does that mean now so 26 is my network mask which means like 26 first 26 bits cannot be edited in any way so that's the mask the remaining six bits can be edited and you will have address space address range in that so so out of 32 bits imagine 26 26 are kind of the mask itself the remaining six bits Think about it so the remaining six bits the last six bits can be varied and that gives you 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 which gives me which gives me close to 63 ip addresses you can see here 10.0.1.0 to 10.0.1.63 ip address range and in that you will get 59 IP addresses can be allocated right because five 
IP addresses will be reserved by Azure itself. Okay, so we cannot have all the 63. So five IP addresses will be reserved by Azure and 59 can be varied and that's your address range or space for this particular subnet. Okay, let's move on to Azure portal itself quickly. So here, let me log on to my Azure portal. So here I'm in my Azure portal. So let me move on to virtual networks. So let's try and create a virtual network itself and see what is the default address space that we will get when we create a virtual network. So let me move on to IP addresses. So here you can see the default address space which is 10.1.0.0 slash 16. So what does that mean? So first 16 bits it's a network mask and the uh, next 16 bits can be kind of uh, varied and that gives you close to 65,536 address uh, addresses in this virtual network and when it comes to subnet you can also see that there is a default subnet in place and the subnet address range is 10 dot 1 dot 0 dot 0 slash 24 right so the first 24 bits are kind of the network mask itself and the next 8 bits can be varied so if, if i click on default subnet here you can see we are having close to the last 8 bits can be varied and that gives me close to 255 ip addresses how we are getting this if i come back here so here you can see the last 8 bits can be varied and if you add all these you get 255 ip addresses right so that's how you need to interpret it and as i already mentioned five ip addresses are reserved by azure itself and you will have 251 in this subnet uh, where uh, the virtual machines whenever you create and uh, try and host it in the subnet one of the ip address in this range will be uh, reserved for the virtual machine itself so in this video we quickly looked at what the cider notation is when designing azure virtual networks and subnets so this is quite critical for students to understand uh, the cider notation whenever they create azure virtual network and subnets how these ip address ranges are structured based on the network mask itself which is the cider notation so i hope you find this useful thanks for watching and please like and share this video to your friends and subscribe to my channel and uh, click on the bell icon to get notified on more videos in the future thank you